Not a word from your lips. You just took a granted that. Hey guys, how's it going? It's V Tricks, and this is about my third time recording this tutorial because my I keep recording my audio, not my microphone. So anyway, hopefully this time it actually works. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make another banner. So this is part of the Become a Designer series on my channel. The other, um, the first episode was a really simple banner, but now we're going to go a bit, um, like a bit more advanced. So if you if you do want this template, um, I've made a video on it before, but um, I'm not. The video is on my channel somewhere, and I'll probably try and link that video in the description so you can get this template. But you've probably already got a banner template somewhere, so you should just use yours. Um, yeah. So if you think your Photoshop looks a bit different to mine, um, yours will probably look like that. Um, if you're just wondering, and then um, I just disable the stuff that I actually don't need, just so it's a bit more convenient. So um, first to start off, make your black. Make your background black, <laughs> and um, once you've done that, just make a get a rectangle tool and make a rectangle over the actual um, over the banner part. Now put a gradient on here. Now I'm just gonna make uh, like if you don't have these gradient presets, just make one. Just double click on this part, make a color, and then make um, double click on this part and make a like light, lighter color. So I'm gonna make this a touch darker. Then once you've got that, um, turn your opacity right down. Now make a new layer. Make sure you make a new layer. And now you want to go to your brush tool and all your brushes. And after all the brushes, so the brush pack you're gonna need, um, or the like, I guess you can have any brush. But I've got this one. Uh, I'm gonna use this brush, like the circle here. And if you do want this circle brush, I'm pretty sure it's in my downloads on my website here. My website, as you can see at the top, is vtricks.weebly.com. And that should be a link in my description somewhere. So here you go down to downloads that you have my brush back one. They're not actually my brushes, but hey, I found them. It could I can't remember who actually, where I got them from, so sorry, say your brushes, but yeah. Um, so just download them. And just open the file, open the file, the brush file, and only open it once. And then, um, yeah, you delete them. So now what you want to do is get your, um, I'm going to use the circle brush here, and just make a pattern back background, just so the background's not so plain. Then you can see there I've done that. And just change the blend mode to overlay, and then turn the opacity down a fair bit. So now, once you've done that, change it to about 20. That's good enough. Make a new layer. And I'm sorry if you can't see all this because my recording software is not recording in HD, but I'll have to get that fixed one day. Um, it's just been stupid, and I want to get it fixed, but I don't really have the time. But anyway, um. So sorry if you can't see that, it's going to look heaps better than it actually does because it's a bit blurry. So once you have made a new layer, um, grab your brush, make a big brush, make sure the hardness is at zero um, and just uh, hold shift and go along the bottom and it should put like a kind of a glow and then change the glow colour to about, just do it under the blue with a touch darker. So now you've got that, um, you turn the opacity down, it's really up to you from here. <coughs> now we're going to make a text. Um, for the font, right, here's this text on side. The font I'm going to use is uh, Planet Cosmos, or Cosmo. Um, just, it, you can see it at the top there, um, it's Planet, and it's spelled with K, K-O-S-M-O-S, -O -S, so yeah. It's a really popular font. So I'm just going to use my name for an example, just because it's a, an example background. And then once you've got that, just make a quick um, copy just in case it stuffs up. And then you want to rasterize the top one that you're using. And make sure you, it's spelled correct, because you, once you rasterize it, you can't change it. Now what we're going to do is go to Free Transform, which is Control T on your keyboard. And you're going to change the perspective a little bit. You're going to right click and go change your perspective. Now once you've got that, uh, just make it the size you want, and then we're going to center it just by selecting an area, going to the top 
uh, the selection tool and I'm just going to center it you can just roughly center it off eye if you want now once you've got that we're going to make an outline such as this banner I made earlier or I think it was like a couple days ago but as you can see this outline here now what we're going to do is uh, hold control on your keyboard and go to the thumbnail a uh, little thumbnail thing um, near your text layer and then a box should pop up so click on that and it should outline it or if you don't want to do that go to your magic wand tool to hold um, shift and just select each letter <coughs> okay once you've got that make a new copy and then get your um, oh no don't make a new copy yet but go back to your um, text and go select modify and then expand and then change that to about 10 pixels and as you can see it expands the um, selection by about 10 pixels now make a new layer and once on that new layer you want to just uh, fill in that with your like fill in it with your paint bucket tool then turn your fill right down make sure it's not your opacity it has to be your fill and then uh, chuck a stroke on and then you can just mess around with your settings on there now that looks pretty cool so make another new layer and if you want to do this it's really up to you but um you can do little shapes on the outside with your pencil so make, make sure you make a new layer each time and just make, a, make uh, like random shapes with your pencil if you want So just go around the outside making shapes. You don't have to, it's just it's really up to you how you like your banners. So you honestly don't have to do this, but it depends like what text you use. Just use your pen tool, go around like make little shapes on the inside and stuff and the outside, make sure you can do every corner and then um yeah it should look pretty cool. So I'll try and find a banner I did for someone, I think I went around it. Yeah here, uh, as you can see I went around the edges on this one. Okay now we have got our text on, um, that's pretty much all unless you want to actually do the little shapes around the outside. It's really up to you, but I don't want to do them, so I'm just going to delete these layers because I don't need them. Now, if you want, you can make a copy of these two, which that's your, you've got your text, your main text here. And then you've got your outline text. Your text outline. If you want, just make um, another copy of them both and then turn these ones off just for a backup and then merge them. So you've got your text, so it's actually merged with the outline, if you know what I mean. You can see it moves with the outline. So once you've got that, uh, just chuck on a gradient. Say I want to use a really light gradient, just so it looks a bit better. You can put a drop shadow on if you want. So yeah, um... That's pretty much it. If you do download this template, you can also chuck on these white bars that I've got here you can see on the layer. And if you're making it for someone, just put your design by and your, then your name. So anyway guys, um, that's been pretty much a tutorial. Sorry if I rushed it, it's just because I'm a bit impatient because I recorded this three times and it didn't work. Um, so, sorry, like, you might want to go back to see the video and just see what I did. Um, but yeah, sorry if I rushed it. But anyway guys, um, thanks for watching the video, um, watch out for next, the next tutorial for Become a Designer, I'm not sure what it will be yet, maybe making a logo, a personal logo or something, I'm not that sure, but anyway, um, hope you guys did enjoy the video as I said, uh, drop a like and a comment, really support me there, and yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs>